Jack. Listen to me. We're all born with an expiration date. No one lasts forever. I was about 12 years old when I first played Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic and was introduced to the talents of John Sagan, who at that time voiced the Mandalorian mercenary Candorous Ordo. Right from the start, it was obvious that he was the coolest guy in the room who didn't take shit from anyone. Maybe if your master had trained your lightsaber to be as quick as your tongue, you could have escaped those Valkers, you spoiled little Jedi princess. John Sagan brought a richness to the role that could never be matched. And when he was brought back for KOTOR 2, I was so excited. During the pre-release period, people weren't sure exactly who Mandalore was, but when I first heard that voice again, it felt like I was back with an old friend. He had this authoritative yet almost meditative voice that combined with his signature gravelly tone that somehow went down smooth like a fine whiskey. Revan never said what he was looking for, or what to be ready for. I don't know if I'll ever know. After playing MGS2 and experiencing John Sagan's performance as Solidus Snake, it really started to hit just how good he was, and just how much I wanted to do what he does. To be a voice actor and truly become that character behind the pixels through the power of the voice. We need to decide which monstrosity will have the privilege of survival. Along with other actors like Keith David as the Arbiter and Billy Zane as Ansem, John Sagan's Solidus Snake is really what inspired me to take this desire to the next level. I would imitate the famous scenes from these games, the best quotes, and would imagine myself as these great characters. I was 14 or so trying my best to sound like a 50 plus year old man, but the role had such an effect on me, and still does to this day, where I'm still imitating Saigon. On the battlefield, you and I are valuable commodities, but back home, we're nothing but dead weight. When I make videos parodying characters, I do my best to emulate, say, a David Hayter or a John Saigon, but it isn't out of making fun of them, it's rather with a deep respect for what they do and the characters they help to create. So without people like Saigon, I never would have thought a career in this field would be possible or viable. So rest in peace to a huge inspiration and one of the finest voice actors around, John Saigon.